formulated from the ashes of early mob strife in the South Brooklyn area, what became known as the Profaci family arguably had its origins among several underworld factions vying for power. Francesco Frankie Yale Iowelli, an early Camorra boss, Michael the Sweetheart Badamarco, his number two, and Sicilian Giuseppe the Clutch Ham Pereno were just a few of several powers who clashed for supremacy. After the culmination of the Castel Marisi War, Salvatore Di Bella was said to have led the Brigada until Giuseppe Joe Profaci became the recognized power in the Bensonhurst, Diker Heights, Bath Beach, Coney Island, Flatbush, and Williamsburg sections of Brooklyn. During the Castel Marisi War, Profaci had sided with Maranzano and the Castel Marisi. Over the next 30 years, the Profaci family would expand in vast power over other sections of Brooklyn, Staten Island, Queens, and Long Island. He also had a regime in New Jersey and varied members in Manhattan, Westchester, Connecticut, and Florida. Profaci's tremendous power expanded with his children's and nieces' marriages to those of the Detroit family bosses Joseph Zerilli and William Toko, and a niece's marriage to Joseph Bonanno's son Bill. This solidified the family's power. The Profaci family, which numbered among 150 strong with over 1,000 associates, specialized in gambling, shylocking, hijacking, and cargo theft, and business infiltration on a tremendous scale. This is evidenced by Profaci holdings such as Alpine Wine and Liquors, Aero Linen Supply, Mamma Mia Packing, Santuza Oils, Mamma Mia Imports, and Sunshine Edible Oils all multi-million dollar firms that they or their successors, such as Cola Vita Olive Oil Company and Roma Foods, still operate to this day. In 1959, a rebel faction headed by the Gallo brothers led a revolt within the family. And over the next 35 years, two more internal family wars would claim scores of lives, marring and vastly weakening the strength and resources of this brigada. With Profaci's death in 1962 and a short interim leadership by Giuseppe Maliocco, Capo Joseph Colombo would rise to be family boss by 1964. Colombo further expanded the family's influence, wealth, and power until his attempted assassination in 1971. After a few interim acting bosses, Carmine Persico would rise to power and lead for the next 40 years. He was backed by a supporting cast of such mob luminaries as the notorious underboss John Sonny Francis, his brother Alphonse Alleyboy Persico, Sebastiano Buster Alloy and his son Vincent Alloy, and Joe Profaci's son Salvatore Sally Pro Profaci. Today, we're going to take a brief look at some of the members of this iconic mafia family. One of Joe Profaci's closest confidants was longtime soldier Giovanni Gianni Shimini Shimoni, who served Joe for years as his personal driver and bodyguard. Shimoni is seen here shortly after he was severely beaten by rogue soldiers Larry and Joe Gallo during the Gallo Profaci conflict of the early 1960s. An early 1970s photograph of future Colombo soldier Frank Frankie Camp Campione. In a few years, Frank would become the personal driver and bodyguard of infamous Colombo underboss John Sonny Franzese. By the 1990s into the 2000s, he had been jailed for strong-arm extortion, shylocking, gasoline bootlegging, bar infiltration, bribery, and obstruction of justice. Gallo gang member Salvatore Sallyboy Mangiamelli, seen here in a 1963 photograph as he leaves the Brooklyn Grand Jury Room after being grilled about the gallo Profaci War. An early mugshot of veteran Profaci Colombo soldier James Jimmy Brown Clemenza. He and his two brothers, Freddie and Charlie, operated gambling and labor union rackets from their Brooklyn base. Jimmy later served as a family cop of regime. From left to right, Profaci hoodlums Anthony Tony Fats Regina, his ally John Moose Batista, and their murder victim Gallo gang member Louis Cadillac Louis Mariani. The two gunmen opened up on Mariani's car as he traveled on a Long Island roadway. They were both later convicted of first-degree murder and got life sentences. A youthful Profaci Colombo family associate, Albert Rignolo, is seen here as he's hauled into a paddy wagon. 
He was arrested along with Perfacci powerhouses Nicholas Jiggs Furlano, Carmine Jr. Persico, Charles Ruby Stein, and other top city gamblers at the White Turkey Restaurant in Midtown Manhattan in the 1960s. Magnolo went on to serve as boss Joe Colombo's driver and bodyguard some years later. Boss Joe Colombo exits federal court with his attorney after being sprung on bail from charges of heading a $50 million a year gambling operation. FBI surveillance photo of Colombo soldier Ralph Scopo Sr. having a walk talk with family underboss Gennaro Jerry Lang Langella. Notorious Gallo gang leader and rogue Profaci soldier Larry Gallo at the height of his influence. Future Colombo Capo Pasquale Fat Patty Catalano is hauled into New York State police barracks after he was indicted for perjury. This was related to his testimony about a massive $750,000 lunch fraud program that associates of his perpetrated against several wholesale food and supply companies they later busted out in a bankruptcy scam. One of the most shadowy and unknown original members of Joe Profaci's Brooklyn-based family was Calogero Charlie Brown Clemenza. He operated for decades in tandem with his brothers Jimmy and Freddie. Collectively, the Brown brothers were all quietly efficient mafiosi active in gambling, shylocking, garment, and labor union rackets. Coney Island-based Colombo Capo Dominic Mimi Cialo is shown here at the federal courthouse awaiting a grand jury appearance. The violent hoodlum eventually got a bit too big for his britches. Mimi was slaughtered in the early 1970s. Early 1950s mugshot of iconic one-time Profaci Capo and underboss Salvatore Sally the Sheik Masaccio. The Pereno family were a collection of brothers, sons, and nephews who were third-generation Brooklyn-based mafiosi, and they became among the biggest pornographers in the smut trade. Their mafia history dated to the 1920s with their grandfather Giuseppe the Clutch Hand Pereno. FBI surveillance pick of Arena Faction soldier Joseph Chubby Audino. He became Little Vic's driver and bodyguard during the Third Columba War of 1991 to 1993. Audino was active in the gasoline sales tax evasion rackets. Longtime soldier and bookmaker Pasquale Checo Brown Fusco served under Buster and Vinnie Alloy. Soldier Joseph Jonach Iannacci. Soldier John Moose Batista and associate Anthony Fattoni Regina arraigned on murder charges in 1963. Ali Hassan Alibaba Wafa was one of the original members of the 1960s Gallo Gang. Alibaba was a hood of Arab ethnicity who served as a bodyguard for Crazy Joe Gallo. He was shot dead during the Profaci Gala War by Joe Yak Yacovelli in 1963. Early 1950s mugshot of South Brooklyn-based Andrew Mush Russo. Future Colombo soldier Dominic Cataldo, also known as Little Dom, shown here in an early mugshot after one of his many arrests. Dom was a tough little hood and a no-nonsense mafioso. Iconic boss Joe Profaci seen here with his underboss and brother-in-law Joe Maliocco at the Brooklyn Federal Courthouse. A 1951 photograph of Frank Frankie Schatz about a Marco leaving Brooklyn County Court after his arrest on policy lottery charges for heading a $2.5 million a year gambling ring. During the 1950s and 1960s era, Salvatore Sally D. D'Ambrosio was one of the most notorious of Profaci Colombo soldiers. He was a very dangerous individual. Born in 1896 in the Agrigento region of Italy, Salvatore Ternabi immigrated to the U.S. in 1920. A convicted bootlegger, he became a member and rose to be a capo of the Profaci family. He was important enough to attend and be nabbed at the 1957 Appalachian meeting. Ternabi listed employment at Sunland Beverage in Brooklyn for Joe Maliocco. He died young, avoiding the Appalachian investigation. Sonny Francis takes a few bags of snacks to tide him over while surrendering at the Nassau County Jail in East Meadow. Colombo member Richard Richie Nerves Fusco came from a long line of Brooklyn-based Profaci Colombo hoods. Active mostly in gambling rackets, he gained some prominence after getting his picture taken with Frank Sinatra and Carlo Gambino at the Westchester Premier Theater. He later rose to serve as acting consigliere for a time. 
He also fell on several RICO indictments before passing away. Little known 1950s to 1960s era Brooklyn mafioso Pietro Pete LaMonica. He was a Brooklyn-based Profaci close associate or soldier who owned a very popular seafood company. La Monica Fish and Clams Company was a cannery that supplied their products to supermarket chains. He was also a suspected narcotics trafficker who allegedly used his cannery to smuggle heroin. Closely associated with Joe Profaci, Sebastiano Nani, and other known traffickers. Profaci family mafioso and international narcotics smuggler Sebastiano Nani pictured here in this 1950s photo. He operated a cross-country heroin ring during the 1940s-1950s era that was smashed in the 1950s. Simone Sam Andalina was a key capo di decina of Joe Profaci. He was active in policy and bookmaking in the Bay Ridge and Bensonhurst sections for years, for which he'd been arrested numerous times. He faded from view, retiring after Profaci's death and the rise of Joe Colombo, but he was still regarded as a respected original mafioso. John Balsamo was an early suspected inducted member of the Profaci family. He lived in Brooklyn and was employed as a salesman for a Malioko beer and soda beverage firm. He had no criminal record per se, but was in constant contact with Lucky Luciano and other immigrant deportees in Italy. Authorities suspected he was used as a courier messenger between key mafioso. Albert Kid Blast Gallo was a kid brother of Crazy Joey and Larry Gallo. He was a Profaci Colombo associate for years until he got a transfer to the Genovese family after his brother was murdered. They later inducted him and partnering with his old friend Frank Punchy Iliano, another former Gallo Hood, they both rose to co-captain their own crew in South Brooklyn. Louis Mariani, also known as Cadillac Louis, was a loyal young Gallo Hood who lost his life at age 26 after being set upon while driving on Long Island and shot to death at the wheel of his car. Profaci loyalists Anthony Fattoni Regina and John Moose Batista were arrested and received a life sentence for this murder. Consigliere Benny Alloy seen here at the wedding of acting boss Vicarina's son. All family members wore tuxedos in solidarity in a quiet show of the family's strength to guests in the know. Gennaro Jerry Ciprio a 1960s associate of the family who was active in stock theft, post office burglaries, and other heists. He was shot to death in the early 1970s while walking out the front door of his Italian deli in Brooklyn. Carmine Sonny Pinto di Biazzi, the alleged killer of Crazy Joey Gallo. Soldier Salvatore Sammy the Assassin Peritori was an early veteran of the family. He cut his teeth as a hijacker and enforcer under Profaci. In the early 1950s, Peritori was arrested for heading a million-dollar truck hijacking and fencing ring. Anthony Pereno, a little-known but pivotal figure in the nationwide pornography rackets for decades in partnership with his son, brother, and nephews, all of whom were Colombo-affiliated. He was the background producer of the notorious porno film Deep Throat, which alone earned the Borgata millions over the years. What is not known is that his father and uncle were top mafiosi who were murdered in a gangland struggle for power in 1931. He later requested the murder of his own brother and nephew over the division of porno profits. It's intermission time. There are a ton more Colombo rogues not mentioned in this video, but we didn't want to turn this into a marathon video, so we saved them for the next one. In the meantime, check out our videos on the Three Columbo Wars, Dominic Cataldo, and other Columbo rogues mentioned here in our Mob Fireside chat library. Plus, you can read a whole lot more on other Columbo family members at our official website at www.thenewyorkmafia.com. Thank you for watching. Until next time.